Dear liberal high school community, there's a lot happening these days around the world, huh? Too many situations for most of us to keep up with, and humans of all ages have found, have found themselves hurled into a melting pot, boiling with possible fact and possible myth. Put the world aside, because for that, we just don't have time to solve every problem while trying to learn Canvas, or to critique each other's curriculum line by line, but let's remember that it's not just about who we pass. It's not just about the numbers, or the jerseys, or the grades. It's not just about the paycheck, or the contracts we sign. It's those days when you graduate, and we see fear in your eyes fade. In my mind, with all its unfounded worry, I know that you will be fine. I've never been more honored to be here at LHS than when we, as one unit, stand and say, we're listening. And we know that some don't even know where class is or what canvas we're painting or why we're even trying. Don't get me wrong. The worst intentions will always exist. But the world is grim when we don't uphold and view the best intellectuals, our students, who against all odds persist day to day in hopes of a future that they make new. Let's face it, the future with our intellectual high school students in it and shaping and molding it is the future that we hope for especially the burden and broken who might not know their parents and the musicians and writers I want to see when they go on tour. Especially the ones that were scolded for their silence when someone taught them that silence is smartest, especially the ones unfortunate enough to know violence and its circle of death when all you wanted to do was sit and rest, especially the ones who took strides to do things right and woke up early and showed up early to school, despite that burning, nagging question in their soul, simply wondering when this will be over so that we can call it a new beginning, especially that student, the one that has undoubtedly kept you up all night in your mind, hoping that they are okay, despite a culture of horror films I could not have dreamt, a world where everyone is lost together, crawling through today. But today could be that new day for which we hope. So for a little longer, don't let go of that splintered rope. We are family. And I will burden my own back daily, not with quips of my objectives or my own self-esteem, but with the responsibility to look at the worst positively. Not with ignorance, but to know it's always more than it seems. Here we are. Pandemic, masks, soap, thermometers and all. Every one of us is learning together for each other in the most special family gathering where not one of us should fall. And to that, my LHS family staff, students, and parents, I raise a caffeine-filled toast. Cheers. <laughs>